Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Bill Craig, I'm one of the co-founders here at WebPageFX, and I feel like I have one of the best commutes into the office every day, and I wanted to share that with you guys. So I'm here in suburban Harrisburg. I live in Camp Hill, Pennsylvania. I live on the Conic and Gwinnett, so I commute into the office sometimes via kayak, certainly beat city in traffic for a couple hours. Really helps me clear my head, think about where you know we want to take the company, maybe think about you know maybe what's on my day-to-day -day upcoming, what do I want to accomplish uh, for our team, for our clients, really push things forward, uh, bring some innovation to our clients. So yeah, thanks for joining me guys, and I'll give you guys a little bit of tour of uh, my front yard here, and then uh, we're gonna hop in the kayak, and I'm gonna show you guys a few highlights of uh, you know kind of the the trip into uh, you know downstream and into Harrisburg here. So a little bit of a feel, you guys can get a feel of uh, my back yard we get around uh, 40 45 inches of rain so always green here in my area love it uh, I'm a big outdoors person so I enjoy kayaking mountain biking hiking uh, all those kinds of things uh, it's good love computers and love technology but it's also good to um, you know kind of get away from the screen for a little bit so uh, always enjoyable there uh, my front yard here you guys can kind of see uh, we're gonna be heading over to the stream um, up the up the street here a little bit right past that bridge where I'm pointing right now uh, there's a really great uh, mountain biking trail and hiking trail uh, and it takes you into Camp Hill which is awesome um, there's lots of great places some craft breweries over that way uh, coffee shops great places to eat so um, really enjoy kind of living here in the area and uh, there's my kayak I don't even bother chaining it up or locking it up it's super safe in this area never had any issues neighbors are awesome uh, we all kind of watch out for each other here's kind of the stream you guys can kind of see uh, my front yard here we got a big fire pit so we'll have some friends over uh, here's some chairs so I'll drink my coffee in the morning uh, that's upstream so this is just kind of where I get to kind of chill and reset and think about things and uh, helps me bring a lot of clarity uh, for business and for life and, and kind of for everything uh, I think I see a few snow egrets way up there. there's a good fishing hole they like to hang out in um, so and then we're gonna head downstream so it takes about um, uh, 45 minutes to get into the office a little over three miles to kayak down and then it's we're gonna hit the Susquehanna and I'm gonna kind of uh, just we're gonna kayak across the stream and then there's a nice pull-out point at Mansion FX uh, the webpage FX office there so appreciate you guys joining me hopefully we're gonna see a bald eagle he lives pretty close uh, to me here on the stream he's usually flying overhead out fishing he could be somewhere else uh, maybe in the Susquehanna somewhere uh, out fishing as well so uh, you know I'm not sure if we'll see him but I'm hopeful that we will today and uh, yeah I'll show you guys a couple of highlights some of the nice scenery beginning of October beautiful time of year you guys can see the leaves are starting to change just a tiny bit so uh, super super nice love doing this and I'm all right so yep hopped in here I put this little rock path here and then uh, in my kayak here and uh, yeah gonna head downstream Just saw a deer down by the stream here, uh, so that was pretty cool. I turned the camera on, see if we could kind of capture him. Uh, he kind of saw us and kind of took off, but uh, a lot of wildlife, uh, beautiful. A lot of animals come in, certainly, to get a, get a cool drink here in the stream. And uh, some good fishing through this area. Um, it's not uncommon. I'll, I'll kind of come out here, I'll bring a fly rod, and, uh, you know, I'll we'll, we'll bring some buddies. and. Uh, sometimes I'll come out maybe an hour and a half, two hours, and catch 20 little bass. So really good stream for that, and uh, a lot of uh, a lot of crayfish and little minnows and snails and all sorts of stuff in here. So lots and lots of food for the fish. Um, it's not uncommon I can run into. I don't know if you guys saw those little kingfish or kind of flew uh, on the other side of the stream there as we were kind of coming down. And uh, yeah, I mean it's it's a great stream for fishing and. Uh, I'll probably turn the camera on in one of the spots. There's a couple hundred fish that hide in there and uh, one of the best areas here on my commute in. I'll come out here on the weekends and do a little fishing and just kind of relax. So uh, yeah, that, it's uh, actually on the other side of the island. So I'll turn this back off and uh, we'll kind of hop into it and you guys can see. Uh, <laughs> hopefully we'll, we'll run into that big school of fish which is always pretty cool to see. Uh, All right, we're coming up on a really good fishing hole here so we're getting into the fall so the water level is a little lower so probably scrape here as I'm crossing the stream uh, but there's a lot of bass in here it's a great area to fish and uh, I'll usually 
you know, sit here for 20 minutes and I'll, I'll pull in a number of bass. So um, I'm going to see if we can kind of sneak up here. I'm going to not paddle a whole lot and uh, I'm going to pull this off here and uh, I can actually drop it in the water here too. This new GoPro and see if uh, we can kind of sneak up, up on a couple of fish. There's a couple hundred sometimes that'll be in this hole. Um, so I'm just going to slowly drift on through and uh, you guys can kind of see one of my favorite fishing spots here on the uh, way down. I'll come out here sometimes on a Saturday or Sunday or come out with some friends. So these log jams and stuff tend to be really good for fishing. So there we go. There's a uh, nice bass there. Uh, you guys can kind of see. Oh, something jumped in. Maybe a turtle or something. Um, let's see here. Oh, there goes another one, another one, another one, another one. Uh, you guys can see them all through here now. I'm going to So yeah, a little sneak peek there. Uh, we were following a little smallmouth down. Uh, hopefully you guys got to see some other fish. Uh, my kayak was kind of pushing them downstream a little bit, but they, yeah, they like to hang out at that, that big uh, rock area and where those trees are overturned. So great place to fish. Uh, it's one of my, one of the better spots coming down here. There's maybe four or five, six holes like that that have a lot of fish in them. So. Uh... All right, if you guys can see ahead, we got a, uh... saw some wood ducks pick up those are way down there and then I think I'm gonna come up on a uh, snowy egret here see so he's kind of back behind this tree here kind of hiding I think you guys can see him just a tiny little bit right now if you see any white and uh, as I get closer he'll probably take off here uh, but this is a uh, we might have the tree working in our favor I'll try to be quiet with my paddling see how close we can get in here for you guys. Let's see some ducks taking off down there. Alright, here he is. You guys can see him getting up close. Alright, taking off in front of us. Uh, they're all over out here, so great little fishing spots and stuff like that. So, but yeah, it's super pretty. You get to see a lot of wildlife. Uh, there was a deer out here drinking earlier, and uh, I didn't have my camera ready to go fast enough, but we had a osprey come in overhead. There's a, uh, this is kind of the area where the bald eagle likes to hang out in here, so um, haven't seen him. I don't know if we're going to be in luck here today or not. I was really hoping I could get him on camera for you guys. Sometimes he'll come pretty close overhead, which is really neat, um, so I'm not sure about today, but... Uh, I'll keep my eyes peeled and uh, hopefully here in the last mile or so of the journey we'll be able to see him. So there really isn't too much white water or anything like that here. Uh, everything's pretty easy kind of getting around and stuff but this is a little more rapid -y area so I figured I'd give you guys a little sneak peek of a little bit of faster water kind of coming through here. Get to the other side where it's a little deeper. Fortunately, we have a uh, really casual dress coat at Web Page FX, so. Uh, if there's been a lot of rain and stuff like that, sometimes I'll get a little uh, wet. I usually wear in some uh, more like uh, gym clothes and stuff like that, uh, quick dry kind of stuff. So, but yeah, that's a, that's a little snapshot kind of going through uh, a little bit of faster water and stuff like that, and then uh, heading back out to a little deeper uh, pool section and stuff in here. Actually, this is another good spot for fishing and stuff. Gets uh, deeper in here. There's a bunch of. Uh, Kind of rock formations and stuff that, that make it really good. A lot of fish like to kind of hide out in these spots. All right, we're kind of coming up here. This is the end of a uh, the Kanaka Gwinnett, and 
and uh, just kind of beast myself here just to give you guys a little snapshot. Uh, but these are some of the uh, rail yards. These are roads kind of going over here and stuff like that. As you guys can see across the river now uh, a little bit, we're starting to see uh, that's Harrisburg over there. And uh, yeah, it's uh, this is a great fishing haul. As you guys can tell, I'm a big fisherman. Uh, it's some really big catfish in this spot. I've caught uh, around these some of these areas, uh, you know, 35 pound catfish. So pretty massive fish, great for bass fishing. Uh, we'll kind of see this is a little park up here, a lot of people fishing and stuff like that. Uh, rope swing, it gets pretty deep in here too. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'll maybe show you guys a little bit. But uh, yeah, under the bridges and stuff like that, when we, as we're going out into the Susquehanna Canyon here, um, you know, you guys will get a little sense here and stuff like that uh, of, uh, you know, this basically the kind of wind coming out on the river here. And then uh, as I get out there, I'm going to kind of pick up my cadence here in, uh, you know, my paddling. It's a really good workout. So 45, 50 minutes of uh, some good cardio. Uh, I go upstream a little bit because the current kind of takes me down. So our office will we'll ship we'll pull up the mansion and uh, FX2 here and uh, as we're kind of coming out on the river and uh, you guys can kind of see it's, it's close to a mile wide so it's a uh, pretty good uh, it's big bass swimming under me right now so so yeah see a few uh, seagulls here and stuff they come up the uh, Chesapeake here um, you know coming in from uh, up the river probably down from the Baltimore area Maryland uh, we start to see uh, Harrisburg on the other side here gonna pop my camera here and uh, yeah, you can see the 81 bridge, uh, you know, one of the big transportation corridors here, uh, kind of going. And then uh, uh, we got a snow egret there, a lot of other birds and stuff like that. Um, kind of going south here, you can start to see. So essentially where we see the uh, kind of mural there, it's a uh, on the stream bank, on the river bank there. Uh, and then we can see uh, Mansion FX and FX2. Uh, so that's where I'm heading. So I usually go upstream a little bit and the current kind of takes me down and uh, Yeah, starting to get a real nice view. You can start to see I uh, should have gone up a little further uh, so you can see the capital, but you start to see Front Street and uh, uh, You know some of the other kind of landmarks and stuff like that. So beautiful All right, so we got a pretty good view here. Uh, we're coming up on Mansion FX and FX2. That's pretty much directly ahead of me right now and uh, basically I pull out where that little uh, mural is uh, you guys can see maybe just a little bit there's a uh, path that kind of goes up from the river and uh, you know kind of can see some of the other buildings in our spot here I'll uh, pull the GoPro off a little holder here kind of get a sense we got uh, you can see the downtown it's always interesting being on the water you sit lower so everything looks a little different than uh, if you're kind of driving down Front Street and then uh, to the south we've got uh, City Islands down there, it's where the Senators play, uh, minor league soccer's down there. Certainly you can see the uh, top of the Capitol building, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's a good uh, exercise. I got my heart. All right, starting to get real close in here. We're starting to see uh, the mansion. Uh, we got the copper roofs. Everything's looking good there. I'm going to turn going downstream. You guys can see the uh, Pride of the Susquehanna down there at City Island. And uh, yeah, good little view, getting close here to our final destination. Uh, just to make it a little bit of a history kind of piece here for you guys as uh, we're kind of tracking it across the river here. So uh, one of the things that's pretty unique about Harrisburg, uh, it's one of the few cities in the entire country, probably in the world, uh, where uh, essentially you have a lot of these old homes built up along the river. Uh, reason for that is, um, the Susquehanna is the widest as we've seen it's almost a mile wide here uh, and essentially you can't take any it's shallow uh, so you can't bring in uh, river barges or ocean vessels uh, it's too shallow um, so if this uh, kind of going back a couple hundred years if this was a really deep river uh, what you would have would be um, you know, a lot. this would all be industrial um, along the river here and you wouldn't have these homes. So we're really fortunate we got uh, to move into one of these old uh, historic mansions here. Uh, kind of a really unique style we can see ahead of us here. And uh, actually I, I recently read the uh, Susquehanna uh, is the fifth oldest river in the world. Uh, so it's kind of millions of years old here. And uh, as you guys can see, it's really, really wide, wider than the Mississippi. And, uh, you know, it's certainly great for kayaking. Uh, really nice out here. Um, you know, I really have kind of the river to myself, a few other fishermen and kayakers, uh, but no certainly commercial 
uh, barges or anything kind of industrial that might, you know, kind of pollute, pollute the area and stuff. So, yeah, getting close here. You guys can kind of see it here. And uh, I usually pull up, essentially where we see that mural here is uh, kind of the trail to pull out. So I was pretty fortunate. We can see the uh, two FX signs up there. All right, now we're over at uh, Mansion FX. Uh, we've kind of come a long way. Uh, if you look directly over there, the uh, bridges is kind of where we came from, came across the river here. Uh, there's my kayak, some of the other uh, kind of patio furniture. We got the, a couple other kayaks for the team and our bikes here, webpage FX. And then uh, basically I just kind of head in here. Uh, pretty easy kayak pull out points right over around that uh, Hamilton front sign. And then uh, just kind of head in here. And uh, certainly really cool work and stuff like that. Uh, the historic mansion here, kind of Victorian style from the 1800s. So get to pass some cool stuff, hand carved, the old fireplaces, all those kinds of pieces. Uh, this is our client success wall. Uh, some of the great stuff that the team is doing, number of clients, 766 clients right now, uh, 386 raving fans. This is all the success uh, that we're driving for our clients. Uh, this is an ongoing learning program where uh, people can kind of travel around the world here. And uh, yeah, a little snapshot. I'm going to run up to the uh, fourth floor. It's always a cool view uh, up there. And then we'll be able to point out a little bit more uh, kind of the uh, journey we just made here across the river for my commute. favorite conference room spaces up here uh, we can see uh, look out the window I see the Capitol in downtown Harrisburg and uh, yeah kind of the view up here one of the nicer spots I'll come up here and read a book sometimes it's F2 on the weekends come on down and uh, yeah essentially that's where we came from uh, that's kind of could win it uh, right where I'm pointing there where those two bridges are and uh, yeah beautiful view here uh, from the roof of Mansion FX here just kind of walk around the top and uh, I'll kind of finish the tour so appreciate you guys joining me here uh, it's been a good day got my uh, heart pumping and feeling good and uh, hopefully after you guys kind of watching this uh, you guys would agree I have one of the uh, nicer commutes here in the country and just wanted to kind of share it with you guys a few of the things that I kind of saw on uh, today's trip into the office so thanks for joining me